equations are what's called simultaneous equations, one linear and one quadratic. Linear equations, I'm going to just write down the linear quadratic. The linear are marked by uh, L and the quadratic are marked by Q. Now, linear equations, they don't have x squared, they don't have y squared, and they don't have x multiplied by y. Do you understand? Linear equations have to have x. You can't have x squared, x cubed. It just has to be x and y, and numbers in front of x and y. Quadratic equations can have x, y, and x squared and y squared. Now, what usually happens is linear equations are usually lines. Okay? Quadratic equations are usually circles. Sorry, they can be circles, they can be n shaped graphs, u shaped graphs, curves like this so basically what's usually happening is what's basically happening is we're going to get what you're going to notice is imagine all these diagrams I've just after drawn they're all on the xy plane there's usually two points of intersection isn't there mm -hmm. not all the time but usually now what does that mean when there's two points of intersection mm. yeah guys what points have is they have an xy value and this one also has an xy value. This means in these questions you're usually going to get two x values and two y values. Alright, now here's your combination that you're going to use for all of these, and I mean absolutely all of these, okay? What you're going to be using is you're going to go to the linear equation first, and what you're going to do with any of the linear equations is you're going to choose to get one letter on its own. So for example, I'm going to choose number 15. 2x plus y equals 3 is the linear x squared plus xy plus y squared equals 3 is the quadratic. Always, always start off the linear. I have a choice and the choice is I can get x on its own or I can get y on its own. I'm going to show you the choice. I'm always going to choose the one that has no number in front of it. I'm going to show you why. If I get y on its own it's going to be 3 minus 2x. If I get x on its own it's going to be 2x equals 3 minus y, x equals 3 minus y over 2. Don't want no now, I can get the correct answer by either substituting x with the x value. So I'll go to the quadratic equation now and I substitute in x, okay? Now, what you notice about this, it looks much more oh, complicated, okay? Now, you might eventually have to do one of these. And I have to multiply all of that out. Uh, sorry, I got you. Yeah, sorry, made a mistake there. That's actually y squared. Okay. Now, this here has a lot of fractions. You can get it out. You can multiply it out. Get the common denominator. Cross multiply. You'll get a quadratic equation. It will work out. But it's taking a lot of time. So instead of using x, I'm going to use. I'm going to substitute in for y. So instead of that formula, I'm going to have this. x squared plus x times 3 minus 2x plus 3 minus 2x squared equals 3. I'm going to stop there. That's, there's a big difference there, isn't there? In how you choose. So we're going to start off. x squared plus 3x minus 2x squared. I'm going to multiply out 3 minus 2x by 3 minus 2x. And I'm going to do it quickly. I'm going to get plus 9, I'm going to get minus 12x, and I'm going to get plus 4x squared. That's when you multiply them out. You're going to bring the 3 over your side, minus 3 equals 0. I'm now going to group all the x squareds together. The x squareds are x squared and 4x squared, give me, and the 2x squared, I forgot about that. It's going to be 5x squared minus 2x squared, which gets you 3x squared. Then I'm going to group my x's together. 3x minus 12x is minus 9x. Then I'm going to group my numbers together. 9 minus 3 is 6. You could do the minus b formula. You could also do the, uh, the reference number. But we notice that they're all divisible by 3, right? If they're all divisible by 3 and there's an equal sign over to your side, that means we can divide both sides by 3. We're going to get x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals zero. What we're then going to get is x minus x minus 2 
x minus 1 equals 0 x equals 2 x equals 1 here comes the second most common mistake in this question when you get these answers from your quadratic only sub it back into the linear okay now the reason being is the linear for every x value there's a y value so one x value will give you one y value if you put it back into quadratic you're going to get two values for every x value so you can always go back into the linear now what is the linear equation linear equation says that y equals 3 minus 2x so all you have to do is write down y equals 3 minus 2x when x is 2 it's y equals 3 minus 4 2 times 2 4 y equals minus 1 for the second one it's going to be 3 minus 2 and that means y equals 1 your two points are 2 minus 1 and 1 1